Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, it has been way too long since I've talked to the camera. I missed this, I missed you guys. So much has happened. I haven't filmed in weeks, which is crazy. So thank you for bearing with me. Um, I was off my regular upload grind because I got married. <laughs> what? Um, again. <laughs> So basically this video, I'm just going to be talking about the whole wedding, my experience, everything that went wrong, everything that went amazing, but make sure to subscribe. With you, I can be sad with you, just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are so clear. I want to stay with you With you I love the way that you Love me today Let's run up through the fields Where the sun shines and heals With you I want to stay with you It's been so cold since you have been gone. Okay, where do I begin? Um, so we decided to do our whole, all of our wedding festivities in one week, within one week, because most people were from out of town and we wanted to make sure that everyone could be a part of all of the festivities. So on Wednesday, we had our bachelor bachelorette party, yacht party, which you saw, I just uploaded a little, a little video that my friend made for us. Um, that was so fun, literally had the best time. It went by, in the blink of an eye, it was four hours, but it felt like 30 minutes. It went by so fast. Um, so yeah, that was amazing. Then Thursday, we had my bridal shower here at our house, um, which was a little stressful because it just, there was so much to do and I wanted it to look super cute and I like had to make sure the house was clean. Um, we got the house like professionally clean because I was gonna have it here on Tuesday, but then on Wednesday after the boat party, all of the drunk people from the boat Ubered to our house and they all came in here. So like, I, I don't know, I should have thought that through, but then again, there wasn't any other option really. So the bridal shower was literally amazing. I'll insert some photos. Um, my cousin, my aunt, my mom and I all were like making these amazing like charcuterie boards, which is my favorite word, charcuterie. And um, my mom made all these amazing dishes and my uh, best friend Catherine, my maid of honor, and my friend Marin and everyone else like decorated the living room and made this balloon arch and had like these mock balloons and it was just so special. And all, uh, a lot of Sage's family came, like he has a bunch of uncles, his mom, Sage's mom. It's gonna be a long video, I can already tell, so hopefully you don't mind. It's a story time, I guess. Um, Sage's mom has three brothers that she's super close with, and then they all have wives, so he has three aunts, and his aunts are just a hoot. So they were at the bridal shower, and I haven't really been able to spend that much time with all of them. I've met, um, I've seen one of them more than others anyway, but, they were just so funny and like having the best time and um, everyone went around the circle. One of Sage's aunts started this. Everyone went around the circle and talked, like said who they were, where they were from and like how they met me and how they know like me and Sage. And everyone was just saying the nicest things. Like it was so sweet. I cried. My cousin Rachel, like my sister, you guys might have heard about her before. Um, she, <laughs> she's quite the crier. And she just said, she's like, hi, I'm Rachel, I'm, I just started like bawling, she couldn't even get anything out. She's like, okay, that's it, I love you, and like, it was so cute, and that made me cry too, because I just love her so much. But it was such a special time, we just got to all hang out, gals being gals, plus Sal, Sal's a gal. <laughs> Wednesday night, and then Thursday, wait, oh wait, Wednesday was a boat party, Thursday, see I'm all messed up, Thursday was a bridal shower, so... Friday morning, we had to get up at the butt crack of dawn, and mind you, Thursday night, uh, Sage had his like dudes night, so it was the equivalent of the bridal shower, um, but it was for dudes, and it was on Whidbey, 
Whidbey Island, which is like an hour away from Seattle. It's where the wedding was. So all the dudes were gone and I had to go pick up all of the plates and cups and goblets and champagne flutes and knives and silverware and table runners and all of that. My lovely friend Marin um, met me in her little Prius and she shoved like a surprising amount of crates in her Prius and then I borrowed Sage's dad's car which is like a huge Honda Pilot, it's basically a big square, fit a bunch in there and then my maid of honor Catherine picked up the rest of them and we all headed to Woodby Island for Friday. And Friday was just a crazy time of getting the property ready. Like we did so much preparation in advance, but it just, it's, it's never enough when you get down to it. There's so much to do for a wedding. It's ridiculous. And oh, so also Friday morning and Saturday morning, I had my hair appointments. She wanted to like get my hair ready for the rehearsal dinner Friday night. Sorry if this is confusing. Um, but she did my hair Friday morning and then I had to work the whole day. Like I was in like, I was in work clothes all day doing work. And I was meeting all these family members that were stopping by to see the property. I'm like no makeup, my hair is done. So I look kind of crazy in like work boots. <laughs> but something that I didn't really, like I knew it would happen, but I just didn't care that much about my hair, which is bad, but it just kind of was low on my priority list. Um, my hair fell out like basically I got it done at like 10 it was out by noon because I was working all day so that was kind of stupid of me but whatever we were working all day on the farm Friday and I had these uh, high expectations of putting all these big hanging lights not twinkly lights but like I don't know hanging lights outside around where the dinner was going to be which was a very difficult task uh, I thought we were gonna make it easy I thought we'd planned ahead but nope luckily my engineer brother Ravi came up with a way to put a line hanging between the trees and then like all this I don't even know how they did it but it took them like a day and a half to, to get it up and they were working on the lights like a couple hours before the wedding was gonna start because it was I guess really hard and so sorry about that but it looked so good by the end of it um Friday we got all of the, since we had all the plates and everything, um, we set up all of the tables and that was like super fun for me. That was one of my favorite things that I did because I just got to like be creative and just set it up how I wanted. So I set up the head table and I'll show, I'll insert a picture, but we had like, um, we had all pink plates, but we got them from this rental company, Bouncing Balloons, and they like get them from different thrift stores and things. So they only have like, it's a bunch of different sets mixed together, which is really fun. So you mix and match the plates, like put one plate this style over here and one plate that's another style next to it and like blah, blah, blah. Then we had half amber colored water glasses or goblets and half uh, pink colored water goblets, half pink colored um, wine goblets, half amber colored wine goblets, and then the gold champagne flute. So uh, each, each thing had to be like different plate, <laughs> pink water glass, amber wine goblet, amber water glass, pink wine goblet. So I had to just be switched around, like made it look really nice and like messy, but still cute. And so I set up the head table how I wanted it. And then all of the lovely family members that were around helping. And there was luckily a lot by this time, but it was cutting it close because I ended up doing my makeup like 30 minutes before our rehearsal and then we had to leave from the rehearsal dinner right after that. So cutting it kind of close but luckily my lovely family members and friends set up all the rest of the tables and they just copied the one that I did on the, on the head table and um, yeah that was so helpful because there just would not have been time to do it the next day. It took like a very long time to set it up because there was 180 people there. Anyway, we do the rehearsal at the farm. We have all the wedding party there. Um, we have our officiant, our day of coordinator. We practice all the walks, which was so fun. My dad like was already crying just practicing walking me down the aisle. It was so sweet. Um, and then we, oh, and my brother, Ravi, walked my mom down the aisle too, which was super cute. Sage walked his mom down. Um, but then right after that, we went to the rehearsal dinner, which was so beautiful. Um, it was at this place called Orchard Kitchen on Woodby, and it's all, it was an outdoor seating these long tables i'll put a picture in um in this go in this garden because it they grow all the food on the property so it's just this beautiful venue there's like all these hanging lights twinkly lights and everyone's super dressed up it's kind of like a fancy place very fancy like plated food 
um, and it was just so nice. I was still like pretty stressed at that point, not gonna lie. Um, but luckily, the second I got in, the lovely uh, waitress or person working there just was like, would the bride like a glass of wine? And I was like, oh, would I? And she gave me a heavy pour and it was great. So I kind of got to relax a little bit because we we're. I realized before I left for the dinner that we were very behind and setting up for the next day. So I was like, oh shit. I was, I was pretty stressed, but I got to relax. I wore this amazing silk dress from Reformation, put in a photo. Sage wore this like super beautiful light blue linen suit. Everyone looked so good and I got to actually like hang out with people and um, my maid of honor said, <coughs> Catherine sat next to me at the dinner, my parents sat across from us and then Sage's parents sat across from us and we just got to like have the best time, um, which was really nice. I'm glad, really glad we got to do that and Sage and I got to actually like enjoy our company for a little bit because we had just been rushing around. It was a beautiful, beautiful night and Sage's mom, my fellow Aquarius queen, said the most amazing speech and I like to say that I don't cry very much but I think I've started to cry more in the recent years but oh my god when she did her speech I lost my shit I was bawling like I could not stop crying and because she was crying and she was just looking she was right across the table she was looking right at us saying the most beautiful things about us and like about love and marriage I died. I literally, Sage kept looking at me like, oh my god, like I was bawling and Catherine was like rubbing my back and then my mom was bawling and she was like, it's hard to make Rohini cry, oh my god. Everyone was bawling. It was so emotional and it wasn't like, like she didn't write anything down. Like she had a few things she wanted to say but she just like spoke from the heart and it was so emo and I just lost my shit. So, but it was really sweet and special moment for sure. So we hung out there for a while. I got pretty wine drunk. I was chilling. <laughs> and then we went back to the farm um, where the wedding was. That's where you're we staying, by the way, for the whole wedding weekend. Very romantic to stay over at your mom's house with your little brother upstairs. <laughs> but it, it worked out. Anyway, Sage and all the dudes, they felt like they didn't really have enough time to actually connect and talk. So all the guys in the groom's party and some other family friends I think that were around. They all went in the teepee because we had a teepee on the property. Um, I'll just do a little side note. I had one comment, someone commented on Instagram because they saw the teepee was in it. They're like, but why do you have a teepee though? Like slanty face, which I actually had thought before the wedding that people might take our having teepee there the wrong way. But the farm has had, Sage's mom's property has been around for a very long time. The farm has been around and a Native American um, man who went to the farm gifted them that teepee for the farm because a lot of magical things happen on that farm. There's kids camps, there's dinners, there's all these things and he wanted the farm to have the teepee. So it, it's always been there. Like the first time I ever was at the farm, the teepee was there. So it wasn't just a cute thing I wanted in the background. It's always been a part of the farm and it looks beautiful on the property. So side note. All the guys went in the teepee and drank wine and I think smoked cigars and talked about their feelings and it was really cute and they all went around the circle and shared about like what they love about Sage and why they know Sage and that's really cute. I went to bed. I went to bed before that because I was exhausted and I knew that the next day was going to be insane and I needed some good rest for that. And then prepared for the next day. Luckily I was wine drunk because I honestly don't think I would have been able to sleep otherwise I would have been a ball of nerves but the wine coaxed me to sleep. <laughs> um, I woke up, no alarm, at 5.36ish. I just woke up. Also, the farm has roosters, so they wake you up too. But I got out of bed, Sage was still sleeping, and I got dressed, went up to the where the wedding was gonna be on the property, and I set up all the candle holders, um, got them all organized the way I liked it. I started moving things around. I just started like doing some work on the farm, and I was so excited about the day obviously I was excited nervous all those things but um, I actually really liked that because there was no one else around it was just me the Sun had just come up the farm like has this amazing dewy smell to it all the grass had like dew on it the birds were chirping it was just really nice and I just ha got to have that moment by myself where I could look at all of the property look at the beautiful ta beautiful tablescape like look how everything was going just by myself which I'm glad I did that 
probably regret it later because I was really tired for like most of the afternoon when we were taking photos, but it's okay. Worked on the farm that morning for a while and then I had my hair appointment again with my mom at I think like 10 a.m. Yeah, and I was so tired. By the time I got to her chair, I was falling asleep. Like I could have fallen asleep in her chair, which was very problematic because I had a lot more things I had to do that day. Um, so I had my lovely bridesmaid, Marin, one of my oldest friends. Um, she brought me a latte to the hair place and she also stayed and like learned how to put my veil in. So that was like her special duty for her to do. And uh, my mom like was looking beautiful. Her hair looked so good. And then <laughs> honestly, the whole rest of the day was kind of a blur. I'm trying to like piece it together. After I got my hair done, went back to the farm, I like inhaled some food. No, I didn't. That was a problem. I didn't eat. Everyone says, make sure you eat on your wedding day. Literally everyone says that. I didn't eat, neither did Sage. Didn't listen to that. But we were literally so busy. I feel like if we were not doing a DIY wedding, we would have had time to eat, but we were just so busy. Um, so I go back to the farm and once again, my hair is done. The wedding is not until 4.30 and it's like 11 at that point and I have more work I have to do on the farm. There's more things I need to set up and so I do and my hair falls out which at that point I didn't even care because there was so much still to do that I was just stressed and I was like I don't care if my hair falls out like we'll fix it later whatever. Um, it was an updo with like a bunch of bobby pins. Very delicate <laughs> yeah we were getting everything set up there was a lot of family and friends over to help luckily because it was like crunch time um all the dudes were setting up those huge string lights i was talking about um we had a bunch of people like melting the candles so they would stay in the candle holders and stay i have like wine bottles for table numbers um and so they had to like melt the candles into there so that was like a really tedious task that everyone had to do um, my day of coordinator was there the whole day, Malia. She's amazing. She was helping so much. Um, and we were just getting everything set up. Like, just so much goes into it. The last thing I really wanted to make sure I did before I went to go get ready was set up kind of the altar area or just give, like, the florist kind of a vibe of how it's going to go. So kind of last minute, maybe a couple days before the wedding, um, we were trying to figure out what we wanted as like the background or the altar. And so Sage just made a triangle. We were looking on Pinterest and that was what he liked best. And I really liked that too. So we had, he just made like an easy little, he just screwed two boards of wood together and made a triangle and set that up behind where the altar is going to be. And then we rented two wine barrels, um, had them next to where we were going to be. And then uh, I set up wine bottles with candles, like candles dripping on it. And then I had like some random decorations that I found around the property. And there's this one like gold thing that I had from our house. And I just kind of was like curating it a little bit just to get a feeling. And then I also put out the rugs that we were going to have. We had this one rug I bought from Etsy, like specifically for us to stand on. It's now in our bedroom. It's like a super cute rug. I love it. And then we have one of my parents, two of my parents' rugs, and we just like staggered them. Um, and it looked really, really good. I was very excited about that. Yeah. Um, that was like the last thing I did before I went and got ready. It, I was like kind of not running behind, but definitely didn't give myself as much time as most brides would have to get ready, but I do my makeup pretty fast, so I didn't care. Um, so my hair was completely fallen out at that point. Photographer, videographer are here. They're ready to take photos and videos of me getting ready. Um, I... In all the rush, I forgot that I got all of these silk robes for me and my bridesmaids. Um, keep in mind, most of my bridesmaids had been getting ready the whole morning. Like when I was out working on stuff, like my friend Mia, she's a makeup artist. She was doing like the other bridesmaids and my mom and Sage's mom. She was doing their makeup like as a wedding present to me, which was really nice. So they were all getting ready and um, I just forgot about the robes. So I like ran in all sweaty and stressed. I kept saying, I'm a sweaty bride, I'm a sweaty bride because it was hot that day and I was running all around the property um so I like give them the ropes I'm like put it on put it on before they start taking all the photos but I don't know the getting ready photos to me weren't something I really cared about very much because it's like like yeah it's fun but eh. like is that the photos you're really gonna remember in 20 years probably not 
<laughs> um, went upstairs. I got ready in Sawyer, Sage's little brother's room, because he has very aesthetic and it's all white and has like, it's just good for photos where the rest of the house is very colorful um, and wouldn't have been as good for pictures. So, um, I, the photographer's like, okay, let's like start getting ready. Like whenever you're ready, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm just going to go pee and like say hi to Blue. I'm staying at the farmhouse this whole time because there was just, we're, we weren't going to be in Seattle and there was already cats at Ann's house and he's been there before. Um, and so I'm like, okay, let me just go say hi to Blue. And I'm like, oh, has anybody seen Blue? Anywhere. I walk in all the rooms. I look in all of his favorite hiding spots. He likes to hide a lot in the farmhouse. He has two certain spots. He wasn't in either of those. I start panicking. I'm like, okay, can't find Blue. Um, and I'm looking everywhere, looking everywhere. Still can't find Blue. Literally turned the house upside down. The photographer's helping me look. My bridesmaids are helping me look. Blue is just nowhere to be found. So I text Sage, who's getting ready up in the yurt, and I'm like, Blue's gone. And then he's like, fuck. We were freaking out because I just knew that if he was out overnight with all of the cars, would not have been good. Wouldn't have survived overnight. There were so many cars going up and down the road. I was just really worried. So I'm like, we have to find him before the wedding starts or he's not gonna get found. So I was freaking out. But I looked and looked and looked and then we, we kind of, photographer was like, like we're kind of running behind. She didn't really say anything, but I just knew like, okay, we're running behind. So I had like all my family and friends were looking for blue and I was doing my makeup upstairs and I was so <laughs> stressed. I was so tired, I was so stressed, I was so worried about Blue, I was sweaty, like it just was not how I pictured how I would feel getting ready for the wedding at all, which is just kind of funny, <laughs> I don't know, I think it's funny. I had a latte and I had a highball, I was chugging both, I like was doing my makeup, trying to smile and be all pretty while they were taking photos, but it, on the inside I was like, oh my god, Blue is out, oh my god, there's so much left to do, oh my god, like I was just so stressed, so that wasn't fun. But finally, my cousin found Blue. He was being a little bastard. He was scared, but <laughs> he climbed above the where the um, washer and dryer was. There's I don't even know how he got up there because it's a huge jump. But she has this shelf on the top with a bunch of towels and um, extra sheets and stuff, and he climbed behind that. So literally he was not visible from anywhere in the house. It doesn't look like somewhere he'd be able to get to. But my cousin saw his little ears poking out over the towels. So all was well in the world again. I could fi focus on my makeup, not have to worry. Um, and then that was great. So that was really stressful. Um, and I just had my maid of honor, Catherine, just sit up with me when I was getting ready because I was like, I just need like, I don't know, I need to chill. I need to like have a good time, try to focus on having a good time. Put on my dress, they were like doing photos and video, of that whole thing. We did our first look, which was just, it was like so, I don't know, it was so surreal. Sage was crying, he was so emotional the whole day of the wedding, which is like the cutest thing ever because he never ever cries. What else? So yeah, we drive to the beach to do our photos. It's super fun, it's this beach we grew up going to all the time. It was so weird to be there like literally in a wedding dress and shoes and yes my shoes filled up with sand like to the brim it was super funny we were like taking all these cool pictures walking on the logs and the videographer had a drone he's doing all these cool drone shots race back to the farm we do our bridal party pictures which look so good i'll put some in um and took some family photos i don't have those back yet and it's like non-stop I was not in the headspace like I thought I would be during this. Um, I don't know. I always feel like I'm such a chill person. And from the outside, I probably looked pretty chill. Everyone was saying, like, you seem like you're doing pretty good. I was just, like, not... I was hungry. Well, I wasn't hungry. I was, like, running on adrenaline and so much caffeine. So I was, like, shaky. And it was just go, go, go. Literally until we had our dance like at 9 8 30 the whole day was just go 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 which was insane so i don't know i didn't expect it to be like that everyone says it's gonna be like that but i'm like oh no no it really was and then there was a little last minute scare because we didn't get a dj or anything because i just felt like that was an extra thing that we didn't really need um would it rather put the money towards something else nobody set up the audio with the actual like phone to play it we had an ipad set up but um 
we didn't know like the iPad was dead or something was wrong with it. So at the last minute, someone, I don't know, maybe Malia ran into get, we needed like the dongle adapter thing to get like convert the speakers to the phone. And so we had one in Sage's dad's car. So we ran and got that. Literally as we're about to go down the aisle, they're like, wait, where's music? <laughs> so that was crazy. And everyone's pretty late. Like, there's a thing, island time. I think they say that in Hawaii too, but like everyone's usually kind of lay on Woodby Island, which is honestly annoying. Like I'm a very prompt person usually, but everyone was showing up really late. Like I was standing in my dress on the deck, like walking to go up to where the ceremony was, like supposed to be hiding and people kept coming in because the way to enter into the, the farm is like by the house where we were all standing. So I kept seeing everyone in my dress. So I'd like, I was getting ready to go and then I'd have to go back in the house and hide again. We finally go up, we all hide in the yurt, all the couples go out and my friend Cole was in charge. You guys met him in the thrift, Goodwill thrift hall. He was in charge of all the audio, he was the MC, but I think he just got a little excited for the occasion and they were pre-gaming all morning, That their whole table, all my old like friends from middle school. I don't know if it was because he was drunk or just nervous or like just it was an accident. I honestly haven't talked to him because it's just been so busy. But he played the wrong song when everyone was going. All the bridal party was going into the wedding. He played the wrong song. He played the exit song. So it was like a super like upbeat. It was Paradise by George Ezra. Like super happy upbeat, which is like I had a serious. I had um I was made for loving you by Tori Kelly as the song. But he played the happy one. And at that point, I did not give one shit. Like I did not care. There were so many other things I was thinking about I'm like yeah whatever okay it's like changes the mood for it and it honestly fit the mood so it was fine I think it was how it was supposed to be but he played the right song for my walk down with my dad luckily it was canon and D like very serious and that was just the craziest thing like my heart was beating so fast I was shaking my dad was shaking we were just like holding each other like oh my god it was so like such a crazy moment that was definitely like one of the things I why I wanted to have a real wedding is because I wanted to like walk down the aisle with my dad um it was so special and everyone stood up and I get down to the aisle and Sage is bawling bawling and he never cries and so I just was like oh I just instantly kind of started losing it I was like oh my god and then my dad and I like walk down he gives me a hug and like let me start the ceremony the ceremony happened in the bleep, bleep, bleep. like when we were practicing i'm like wow this feels pretty long during it oh my god it went by in like 20 seconds like it went by so fast oh my god so my brother like read a little excerpt from les miserables that was really nice and we she like went through the ceremony and then we read each other our letters you guys just wait until the wedding video you like there was not a dry eye in the house when we were reading each other our letters. There, I was, Sage was bawling during the whole time he read his letter. I could not stop crying. Like, I could not, I had to keep stopping and being like, and I kept saying, because everyone, I mean, everyone was there in the audience. I, I was like, whew, I kept saying like, geez, oh my God. Like, I kept, I kept being so shocked that I couldn't stop crying. Um, but there the letters was something like I really really wanted to do because it just I don't know I wanted to have that special thing like that we wrote to each other and I wanted everyone to hear it and just have that like moment so I'm really glad we did that but yeah bawling my eyes out everyone was bawling Sage was bawling all my bridesmaids everyone in the audience was just crying <laughs> and so I just that like it was so intense I didn't expect how intense that would feel like us reading each other these letters with all of our family and friends there it was like the most insane intensity energy ever <sighs> and so after that after we got through the letters because sage was so nervous about reading the letter and writing it it took him like a week and he was so stressed about writing it and once we got through the letters it just we were like we did it oh my god and so the rest of the ceremony we just were like looking at each other like oh my god oh my god let's get to the kiss already like let's do this thing and then you guys might have seen this on my Instagram, but when she was saying the last part, like, okay, you may now kiss the, I like was already reached. I already kissed him before. Like as he, she was saying, and you may now, I like, I already kissed him because I was just could not wait any longer, which everyone started laughing. And that was amazing. And then 
we went down the aisle back out and all the confetti cannons went off which was something i added kind of last minute and i'm so glad i did because it looked amazing it was all this white confetti and like the pictures looked so good um and we're running out the aisle um no music because i didn't even really need music but we're running out of the aisle Sage and i are holding hands like just literally in shock at just all of the emotions and stuff and i'm sure the videographer got this but probably won't put it in but I was like holy fuck like I kept saying holy fuck because <laughs> it was just so intense and Sage and I were just like run back in the yurt because Sage and I were both like the original plan was you just go and get cocktails after but Sage and I were like we need to go in the yurt like we need to take a moment like that was so intense we need to like not be around the whole wedding right now so we went in the yurt we both just sat down and we're like it was I can't even explain it maybe some of you guys who've had weddings like had the same feeling but it just was so intense like oh god but there's this photo i'll put it in like sage and i are both just crying like just shocked at what we were feeling um like how powerful it all was um so yeah and then we were sitting down and at that point like i had planned to take my hair out because it was an updo and i wanted it to be down for like the rest of the night so my friend was taking out all the pins and someone brought me a margarita and Sage and I were just sitting there like drinking our margaritas and everyone like we had group hugs with everyone all of our bridal party everyone was like cheering it was super cool and then we finally like went out to the wedding to actually greet everyone and it was just crazy we did not have a second to sit down relax the whole night <laughs> until after the after the first dances at like 8 30 so it was just go 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 everywhere you went it was amazing but there's so many people there was 180 people there everywhere you went someone would say hi oh hi 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 which was great and there's so many people that i like didn't know that well or family members of sages i hadn't met yet and i didn't even get to barely hang out i literally spoke like two words to some of my close friends that flew out from new york like i barely got to even see them which i'm so sad about but I guess that's just how it is like i literally barely saw them at all um yeah so that was just all a blur um my stomach was empty so i kind of was trying to take it easy on the alcohol but of course everyone's like shots shots because we had it set up that way for our head table it was like take a shot take your seat all these decanters are filled with alcohol but my stomach was just not not in the right state of mind for alcohol heavy alcohol yeah keep in mind so here i am we're getting to the dinner portion. I've had so I've had two lattes, two highballs, Gatorade, water, like so many liquids, so much caffeine, no food all day. Some tequila. I had like two margaritas, shot of tequila. My stomach is already just not doing well. And then my lovely bridesmaid Marin, she was the fucking homie. Like she helped me so much throughout the whole day. She went and got me tacos and I like shoved the tacos down. They tasted so good. Sage and I were like, oh my God, this is the best food I've ever tasted because we were starving. But once that hit my stomach, the tacos and the guac, it just was not good. So for like 40 minutes, I just was like, oh God, my stomach feels horrible. We had toasts, right? Yeah. So we we got to eat our tacos, barely. Um, we went to go take some more photos and then we had the toast so we like stood up and everyone that was going to speak like came up and did the toast those were very emotional as well my best or my maid of honor Catherine like could not make it through her speech she's so funny she there's another photo I'll put it in but she like got to the end and was just like squealing crying by the end like <laughs> was just like laughing and crying and oh my gosh then we did the toast then we did the cake cutting and then we uh had like, I don't even know, like a second to eat more if we wanted to or something. My stomach was not doing well. I feel like I needed to burp, like a lot. Like I had a lot of just, I don't know, needed to burp. So I excused myself. We were supposed to just go to our first dance. We're like, okay, it's time to do the first dance. And I like booked it. Oh, I forgot to tell you this. I got my period too. So it was just like, ah. I went in the bathroom. First time I had a chance to go pee, like the whole afternoon. Went in the bathroom. I got my period and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like it was just the worst timing. Luckily I caught it before it had, I don't know, gone on my white dress. <laughs> that would have been horrible. So I had to run to Anne's house up the way on the property and try to find a tampon. There was none there. I didn't have any. I wasn't supposed to start yet. It was not the right time. 
and I was going through all my bridesmaids bags because I didn't have my phone so there was no way for me to be like yo luckily my friend Alicia she was in the wedding party she was like texting other bridesmaids like hey anybody have a tampon and luckily Marin again the homie she had a tampon so save the day but anyway that was just something I was like oh you, you're serious right now like of all the days when we were about to do our first dance I like excused myself to the yurt I didn't even really tell I'm like I'm gonna just go in the yurt really quick and I like ran in there it was dark in there no one was in there and I just sat down on the couch and was like chugging water and literally just burping like that i went in there to burp my mission was to burp 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 <laughs> before the first dance because i'm like i can't go out there right now i'm gonna be burping during our freaking first dance like how romantic so sage came in the yurt too because he just wanted like a second to chill and i was like i came in here to burp so since we're married now i mean we're already married but i was like we're really married now i guess and so he just we just sat on the couch and he held my hand while i just burped for like five minutes <laughs> that's romance and then once i felt better we went out did our first dance um which was so sweet and then my dad and i had our dance which was like <laughs> everyone was crying again and then sage and his mom came on the dance floor too and had their dance well my dad and i had ours and then after that that was the last commitment of the day. Every other part of the day was like this, this, this. It was so scheduled out. There was so much stuff for us to do. After the dances, like we were free. So I just let loose. I had a bunch of margaritas. I was taking shots. Like I was finally having like a good time and I could just relax. And dancing is also like one of my favorite things to do ever. So everyone was on the dance floor. We brought the speakers as like close as we possibly could and everyone was just jamming having the best time and we danced i don't know what time that must have been we started dancing at like 9 30 and i went to bed at 2 so i was dancing that whole time maybe 10 9 30 10 it was a long time i was having the best time like sage i was dancing with sage's mom she was letting loose my parents my dad all my friends like finally got to just have an amazing time and oh, it was so fun so the dancing was like one of the best times of the night for sure for me and yeah that's that my dress is destroyed well not like destroyed but the bottom part is like this this much of it is covered in dirt and mud like the whole bottom part is just a ring of brown so i really need to go get that cleaned soon um but i feel like that's a sign that you had a good wedding and you know i'm never gonna wear that again so might as well just get my money's worth it was a very emotional powerful intense day in every aspect of the word intense but it was just the best and it looked so good it looked better than my wildest dreams it looked straight off my pinterest board <laughs> like it was amazing it got pulled off better than i could have ever expected and i definitely wouldn't have been able to do that with all like without all of our family and friends helping so ah <sighs> yeah definitely was a group effort weddings always take a village to put on especially if you're doing them yourself um but it was amazing and everyone had a wonderful night. We went back to Seattle Tuesday afternoon. We had to clean up the property, return all the cups and plates and everything. And then we left for our honeymoon Wednesday and it was an amazing honeymoon. I won't go too much into that because this video is already so long, but it was exactly what we needed. Napa is like my new favorite place in the whole country. I love it so much. And we just got back from our honeymoon Sunday and today's Tuesday. So. But that is, this is the longest video ever. I'm so sorry if you made it all the way through this. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and thank you. <laughs> but yeah, that was the wedding. That was the whole shebang. It was a wonderful day. And I'm going to remember it forever. And I cannot wait to get the video to show you guys because it was so fun. But yeah. So that's it. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed hearing about it. Thank you for all of your kind words and comments and everything. You guys have been so cute and like supportive with all of the photos we posted. Like, uh, yeah. So anyway, love you guys so much. Sorry for the lack of uploads. I'll be back on my grind now. And yeah, see you guys very soon. Bye.